Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 10th, 2021. Well, today may be the day. Is this, is it going to be the day that we finally break this log jam with the CPI number that's coming out before the bell? Anything is possible today. So how about we settle into our office chairs? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate the support that you guys are showing for the channel and the content. Um, you cannot even imagine how uh, much that means to me, and I'm, I'm truly, truly uh, grateful that folks um, find this information useful to them in their trading. Let's take a look at our index charts and see if we can get some ideas on how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, we have to mention that we're going to have a CPI number and there, there's talk that that CPI number may come in at the highest level in near, nearly 30 years. So even though we have some pre-market activity in the market, everything could change by the time the market actually opens. So let's take a look at the charts and let's look at the support and resistance levels and trends. The critical areas that we wanna be paying attention to depending on how the market does react. Let's take a look. First off in the diamonds, we have this upside trend. Now, one of the things that's, uh, that's obviously bullish that that upside trend continues to remain in here. Um, we also want to acknowledge that we have this bit of a downtrend going on in that short term. So we have a possible topping pattern starting to show itself. And we've been struggling in this range trying to, trying to reach out and break out. But we just haven't found the momentum to do that today this log jam could be changed. So we've been challenged by overhead resistance here, and we've been supported by this price support level and that trend in the chart. And you can see how critical this number could be today. If the market reacts bullishly to this number, we could certainly push on through up here, break some of that resistance, start pushing through, maybe even new record highs um, in the Dow could be expected. But also keep in mind, that if that number comes in and engages those bears, we could certainly break down here. And that could create some technical problems here in the chart, giving us this lower high possibility and um, a retest possibly of the 50-day moving average. Now, as long as that 50-day moving average would hold, we'd be in pretty good shape. But those are, are areas that we want to be watching. And boy, I think anything is possible this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY has a little bit better picture. We've attempted to break through. We've been trying and trying and trying to pop through here. But notice how critical this could be. Although we're holding on to this upside trend here in the chart, and we're holding on to some price support, we have been unable to break through to that new high and, and really confidently hold on to that. So you can see the possibility that if we were to um, get some bearish news and this market drop into here, that could be a problem. Creating the, um, the look of a possible topping pattern here in the SPY. Now, we, we do have the support level of that 50-day moving average. So we could just come down here and test that 50-day moving average, bounce off of that again, and be perfectly fine. But you can kind of see how that would maybe start to worry some of the market in that possible top that could be um, in play. Now, if we find some inspiration for the bulls, once again, we could hold in here very, very comfortably and maybe even confidently bounce right off of this price support, this little range that we have in here and get very, very bullish pushing on through. And that would just be an extension to the trend. So your guess is as good as mine what occurs here. Watch those markets closely. Um, it could be a wild and woolly morning. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ 
has a little bit more of a challenge here. And you can see the QQQ futures are pushing just a tiny little bit lower here this morning while the SPY and diamonds are trying to push higher. And we continue to be challenged by these price resistance levels in the chart. We, we've tried to push up there. We're continuing to hold on to this little upside trend, but we do want to recognize the fact that we are, are bigger, uh, our big, bigger trend really broke um, when we sold off here before. So we know inflation and no higher bond rates have a pretty negative effect on the NASDAQ. And we can see the NASDAQ pulling back a little bit as a result of that. We also have a double whammy in here this morning. If you caught some of the news that Congress, um, the Democrats in the Congress anyway, are circulating bills that could fundamentally change uh, big tech, um, antitrust bills that will change the landscape potentially for those companies. That could also be a little bit of a pressure here in the NASDAQ. So watch that closely um, as um, we get this number today and see how we react. Of course, here we also have that that good thing um, in here that we have some price support levels in the chart that could certainly hold us if we were to fail. And we have this resistance level that we'll wanna be watching. Should we find that bullishness and break through up here, we're still gonna be challenged by some resistance levels in the NASDAQ. And, and once again, if we were to fail right in here, that could bring some concern for that lower high and that possible topping pattern that we could perhaps be building here in the NASDAQ. And then IWM, IWM, had a, a kind of a rough day yesterday. Um, we surged up here, we were testing um, some resistance highs in the chart and uh, just kind of reversed here on the day yesterday. Now keep in mind, we have some price support here and we've been running in this nice upside trend. So it really is going to depend how the market responds today. If we're gonna bounce off of this and move higher or if we're gonna follow on through with that bearish candle pushing down and breaking that little trend. Now, do keep in mind that we're above our 50 day moving average and we have other price supports in that chart as well that could support it if we pull back. So keep a close eye. Um, I just wish I had that crystal ball and could help you out with what's gonna happen today. But I honestly, I think it's a coin toss as to how the market reacts uh, to this data this morning. Let's take a look at um, our VIX. Now our VIX has um, crept up just a little bit yesterday. Notice at the end of the day, we had some selling in the market, crept up just a little bit. So we still haven't been able to break down through this low, but the good news is, is we are well below that 20 handle. We've broken those support levels and we have this little downside trend underway. So I think we're in pretty good shape unless that number really engages the bears. And if it does, we're gonna wanna watch this price resistance level right in here. Because if we were to shoot back above that and hold that area as support, that could be a real, a real problem for the market. What we wanna see is we wanna see um, that fear continuing to drop out. And perhaps, perhaps we'll find that inspiration in that CPI number that says that there's nothing to worry about here. We drop on through and the market continues to rally. So watch that carefully and closely as that market open approaches. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122, was indicating yesterday some overbought condition and we at the end of the day saw that selling come in which relieved some of that pressure so you can see being right in this area we do have upside opportunity if we can get some um, bullish um, inspiration on that cpi number perhaps it comes in less than expected um, we could certainly see the market surge we've got some room to the upside here on t2122 but let's also um, recognize the fact that if those bears were to be engaged, we have a pretty big open space down here that we could slide into. Um, so just be prepared for that possibility. Remember, every time T2122 is up here, we can linger up here for a while and we can bounce around up here for a while, but just notice we get up in this range and we start seeing those complications and that pullback that comes in the market. So just be prepared for that possibility. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, just be prepared. 
Then let's take a look at that T2101. And I tell you, this has been such a dull market. It is very, very difficult to um, get really inspired on, on too much of anything because we cannot get any market breadth moving with the market. Yesterday, we had the market trying to push up early in the day. Um, we ended up selling. Notice the market breadth continues to decline here. We just can't seem to get any momentum. Um, pushing this market in one way or another. We're just kind of languishing here. Perhaps today is the day we break that log jam, but let's just kind of keep in mind that we've just been kind of lacking in inspiration here um, in the market. And this market breadth downtrend continues as a bit of a concern for me. Um, let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And of course, what we've been talking about all morning, that's the thing that we're going to want to be focusing on first thing this morning. And all eyes are on that. As a matter of fact, um, um, eyes are watching this from around the world where that number is going to come in. Um, European markets are basically flat this morning um, as they're waiting to see what U.S. numbers come in as. So uh, keep in mind we've got that CPI number at 830. Now that's going to likely be the key driver of the day but of course we also have that jobless claims number that will be coming out at the same time and they are expecting a decline in that jobless cl um, uh, jobless claims number so if that were to occur that could be bullish for the market and and help um, um, the day if we um, can get some inspiration here from the cpi um, of course if it happens to come in worse than expected that could be a problem for the market as well then later on today we have natural gas and you can see down here at the bottom of the sheet we've got the treasury statement and the fed balance sheet and you know, nobody seems to have much concern about all of the debt that our fomc has amassed but um, someday some point in time they may um, have some concern on that particularly if this number comes in hot and then next week we head into that FOMC meeting and the, the committee starts talking about um, unwinding some of those easy money policies. So watch that closely. Um, we have consumer sentiment on Friday and a very light day of earnings, so not much happening. If we get through today, um, that could set the stage for the rest of this week. Um, let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar, we've got 20 companies listed on the earnings calendar, calendar but a, a number of them are unconfirmed um, reports. And so of the confirmed reports that we have, um, let's take a look. CHWI um, will be reporting today. Uh, Chewy, keep an eye on this. This has been coming, um, breaking this downtrend, trying to rally up here. This could be a critical report. Notice it's trying to break back through. We have this death cross with the 50 crossing down over the 200 here. So this could be a critical report if it can get some inspiration. Um, uh, we might finally break back through to the upside here on Chewy. Um, obviously, if um, they disappoint, that could be a problem here and kind of reinforce that death cross um, in the chart. Watch that closely. Then we have um, FSLR. Um, we'll be reporting today. Keep a close eye on this one. This one's trying to break that downtrend as well. Notice we've been trying to lift up here. We're testing that 50-day moving average. We've already had the death cross here and we've continued to sink in that chart. So it could be a critical report to, uh, today on what happens next. Watch that closely. We're going to hear from Plug, Plug Power. Now this is one of those um, stocks that, um, green energy stocks that um, really I think has some merit but um, we've been kicking up here as a matter of fact I made some money on this this week there's that death cross again and although we popped up above that 200 and we're pulling back today it's it's gonna probably matter how this reports whether or not we continue to push on higher or if we fail at that area we're gonna hear from Signet Jewelers Keep an eye, Ooh, looks like Signet's done a pretty good job this morning, popping up here, as you can see. 
pushing on higher here this morning. We're holding some support levels in this chart. And as of now, we'll still have some resistance levels that will be challenging whether or not we can push on through there with Signet. So there's a few stocks for you to pay attention to. Always remember, if you want to go to the blog and read, get the full list of stocks, um, uh, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video that I'll send you back there to the blog. And um, thank you for everyone who does take the time to do that. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's been clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving a, a comment, it, any comment. It can be an emoji. Um, helps the algorithm to show these videos to more folks and that's helping the channel to grow and i just want to say thank you everyone who takes the time to do that it, it truly um truly means the world to me and also just a huge shout out to those folks that are utilizing the buy me a coffee to support the channel that way i truly truly appreciate it you guys are awesome thank you so much um you humble me every day honestly um so keep posting and, and by the way please feel free to share these videos anytime you take that video link and you share it over on your social media feeds it helps um, that video get seen by more folks and helps the channel grow so thank you so much and i truly appreciate your participation in that let's take a look at these stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security you have to do your own due diligence make sure you're focused in on the risk of the trade and that you're following your rules blindly following someone else's trade ideas is always a bad idea let's take a look at some of these stocks that i think are in pretty good patterns that we want to pay attention to first off i want to mention um, steel take a look at clf yesterday boy clf got really inspired yesterday this is um, cleveland cliffs uh, steel um, if that infrastructure bill passes, if that does come to fruition, for it, I can't say the word, fruition, um, um, that might be an interesting um, era, uh, space to be looking at. And also, if we're going to see inflation rising dramatically, anything that's a commodity, steel, gold, silver, corn, wheat, um, any oil, anything that is a commodity will typically um, see prices rise. So that could be an area that you might want to focus in. But Cleveland Cliffs doing really well here. Um, I wouldn't want to chase that move. Wait for the next entry into the trade if you aren't in here. But huge, beautiful move in that chart. You could also take a look at U.S. Steel. U.S. Steel had a nice day. It wasn't quite as strong as it was in Cleveland. And you can see popping up through here, I think there's a possible entry in U.S. Steel here. Also, STLD, take a look at Steel Dynamics. Now, Steel Dynamics pulled back yesterday. This is still, you can see my price alert here in the chart. I'm still watching this for that potential as we pushed out here to the trend to um, try and move on through. So watch that closely, Steel Dynamics. Um, I think there is some movement going on in some of these cannabis stocks. I want to mention TLRY. Now, TLRY, I have to uh, let you know that I have a little bit of bias here because I am holding TLRY. Watch that closely in the chart. As this kind of slips and slides its way over here toward trend, I keep a close eye on that, that possibility that that could set itself up and move on higher. And you can look at, you know, whether you like TLRY or if it's CGC, um, you can see CGC breaking its downtrend, trying to move, Crone, um, all of these might be uh, setting up. Even the um, cannabis ETF is starting to show signs of that bullishness. So watch um, watch those charts carefully. Um, other places that you might want to take a look, um, these kind of speculative auto manufacturer, battery manufacturer, um stocks are trying to show bullishness again we had these protracted downtrends and now we're perking back up and as you can see nkla has completed what we call a rounded bottom breakout a rounded bottom breakout is when the stock kind of gets oversold 
rallies back above that 50 day moving average holds it as support and then pushes up to the 200. Um, we made some money with this in right way options here recently and I'm just watching this carefully. If this kind of slips and slides its way out here toward trend, there may be some more opportunity in here. It's not ready for prime time yet, but kind of keep an eye on it. And then NIO would be another one of those that we kind of tried to pop early ahead of the trend and now we're pulling back again. So watch this area in here, see if that finds that inspiration and pushes on up and please keep in mind we're back above our 50 and 200 we had that death cross that occurred here but it looks like we're going to resolve that and this could be that big moving average squeeze that sets up in here so if this rest or pulls back and holds in here watch for that opportunity in that chart other places that you might want to look um, some of the more conservative stocks um, out there um, are holding up quite well. Keep an eye on Coca-Cola. Now Coke pulled back in the last few days, but notice it's been in an uptrend and it broke through a substantial resistance here in the chart. It's a big resistance. It goes back here for a long, long ways. And we pushed through that level and now we're kind of coming back to test this trend is support and this support level. If we can find some bullishness here, you might want to keep an eye on um, uh, Coca-Cola. Now Pepsi, um, PepsiCo is having a little bit more of, tr of a trouble here. They've been dealing with this price resistance, just not quite ready to go. Um, so keep an eye on that. Now I'm running out of time and I got into the last but not least um, things that I think everyone should be paying attention to and it could be really critical today. Depending on how that number, that CPI number comes out today, keep a close eye on GLD. If that number comes in really, really hot, we could see gold spike up here and you can see I've got a price alert on the chart. I'm actually holding um, this position and this has been holding above this price support area in the chart. So watch that closely. If that, if that um, inflationary number comes in, watch for that opportunity that that could stretch on up. And I think maybe an upside target up here about around that 182 would make some sense um, in the chart. And then also la um, let's take a look at that silver. Um, SLV would be another one might be worth keeping an eye on. You can see it's been bouncing around. It's been reacting negatively to this resistance level in the chart, but that could change depending on how that number comes out today. So watch that closely. By the way, I also hold silver uh, for full disclosure. Now, um, continued rest in here I think is fine um, with SLV. Um, I just don't want to see it dropping hard. So watch that carefully. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. I want to wish, wish you great success. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for clicking those subscribe buttons, and thumbs up buttons, and, and leaving comments. I truly appreciate it. We'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day, everyone.